everyone. My name is Jun Xia, and I'm incoming assistant professor at the Department of Biomedical Sciences at Creighton University School of Medicine. DNA damage can come from both endogenous sources and also exogenously. Exogenous DNA damage can come from a variety of, of sources, including UV radiation, smoking, and other environmental toxicants such as arsenic. When I was in Susan Rosenberg's lab at Baylor College of Medicine a couple years ago, I led a study and discovered the large conserved network of proteins, the DNA damage proteins. This regulation of the DNA damage increased the steady state level of DNA damage in both model organisms like E. coli and also in human cells. However, too much endogenous DNA damage is very bad for cells. It can titrate out the normal DNA repair mechanisms and lead to a higher chance of mutations. Mutations are inherited genetic changes that might cause the alteration of the normal functions of the proteins and potentially drive cancer. My lab is interested in understanding the interactions between the endogenous DNA damage network and also environmental factors. In particular, we are interested in understanding how a lung cancer associated risk gene called aquaporin-3 interacts with the low dose of arsenic and how their interactions can promote DNA damage and genomic instability. We employed a series of genomics approaches, including using ANSIC to map double strand breaks inside our genome, and also duplex sequencing, which is an error-corrected way of detecting super rare mutations in targeted panels to understand where the DNA damage repair intermediates and mutations occur. Here's a new toy that we got, a NextSeq 2000 sequencer. One will prepare sequencing ready libraries and then load the libraries into this cartridge. Then we will load the sequencing cartridge into the sequencer. After one to two days, it will generate 1.4 billion sequencing reads, and then we can computationally extract the sequencing information, which will help us uncover the mystery of cancer evolution and genome evolution.